Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, I'm going to have five examples for you in this self-quiz, but the first three you see here, solving literal equations. Now, again, I'm going to assume you've watched all the other videos in this series, and they all have to do with taking a equation or a formula in some way, and uh, it has to have more than one variable, and you're going to take um, use some algebra rules and some um, equation uh, techniques to solve for different variables. So in the case of number one, you're going to take this equation here and solve it for y. So you want to end up with y equals something. So, uh, the same for all three of these. All right, hit pause on video and give it a try. All right, if we take a look at the first one, notice that we have 8y right over here. We need to isolate that y. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is add 22 to each side. All right, um, over here, that'll be 2x plus 22. Those are unlike terms, can't add them together, equals 8y. Now, the only thing left is to undo the 8 there, which is being multiplied. So the opposite of that is division. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 8. And then that will give me my answer. Now, I can leave it in that form, 2x plus 22 over 8, or... I could um, fact, do some factoring. 2x over 8, remember the 8 is being divided into both parts there. A 2x over 8 could really be x over 4. All right, I'm just going to show you another version of my answer. x over 4, or 1x over 4. And then 22 over 8, either I could make it into a mixed number, or I could just factor out a 2, and that would give me 11 over 4. And still yet another example would be, combine these, these are both fourths, so I could say x plus 11 over 4. That's probably my best choice, simplest form. All right, number two, solve for y. Well, again, I'm going to add 5x to each side and add 10 to each side. Now I'm going to kind of com combine steps here. I'm going to just flip everything around, and so I'm going to say 2y equals 5x plus 10. The only thing left to do is divide by 2, of course. All right, now y equals, and here's an example of an xy equation where I maybe want to change it into slope-intercept form, and that's what I have here. I have 5x over 2 or five, have, 5 halves x plus 10 over 2, which is 5. Okay, that's an example of manipulating an equation in one form and getting it in slope-intercept form. That's one way to do literal equations. And my last example, solve for y. Notice here is the y there, so let's go ahead and subtract 6x from each side. And subtract 5z from each side. That's going to get a little messy, but that's all right. I'm going to have negative 2y equals 4 minus 6x minus 5z. Divide both sides by the negative and the 2. And so if I simplify my answer, I'm going to get What's 4 divided by negative 2? That would be negative 2. What is negative 6x divided by negative 2? That would be positive 3x. Be careful of your signs there. A negative divided by a negative. And here, negative 5z divided by negative 2 would be positive 5 halves z. Okay? Or I could say 5z over 2. Now, it's a little messy, but again, we're just manipulating it and getting it in terms of y. 
The last two examples for this self-quiz actually come from different formulas that are used in the areas of math and um, physics in a way. So you try number four solve for R and number five solve for B. All right, number four. You're going to solve for R, so we need to isolate the R there. And I know it's being squared, but let's go ahead and divide by the pi and the h. Okay, we have to do that to both sides. Pi, h. You don't need to put a multiplication dot in between because squishing them together shows multiplication. So those are going to be canceled, and that gives me R squared equals v over pi h. All right, so now think. If I'm going to square the r, what's the opposite of that? That's right. We're going to take the square root of both sides. And now b is the square root of c squared minus a squared. Solving the original formula or equation for b. All right, thank you so much for trying these. I hope you appreciate these self-quizzes. A good way to kind of tie everything together for a certain lesson. And I put them at the end of my series of videos. Thanks again for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.